I worked with you many years ago. You had taught a seminar, and you were very young and extremely mature, even at that age, just talking about positional awareness. And now, years later, watching you tonight, it was such a huge factor in every single thing that you did and every single submission that you got out of. And I think like every jujitsu class should watch tonight's fight. What is the actual training camps for you like? Do you do positional awareness? Is that like a main part of how you train? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it becomes kind of second nature when you're training all the time, but when you're dealing with a submission artist, um, you want to keep your your limbs in because that's what he wants to attack. You know, he want he wants to or get around to your back. So you got to keep your 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 limbs close, or else they're gonna take it. And he almost he almost did a couple times, but um, yeah, it's it's definitely that old saying: position before submission. You know, like position is very key in in, uh, in fighting. So. Definitely had to be pretty uh, um, you know, safe and alert. alert. Yeah, and yeah, safe in, in a lot of positions that you know maybe I could take more chances with other guys. But he's quick. He's got good hips and he's quite fast off his back. When you particularly rate this performance, is there anything that you maybe wish that you had have done or gone for yourself? I, I, you know, obviously looking back, I feel I, I wish I could have like pulled the trigger on the stand up a little more, but I, I was his timing was kind of freaking me out a little bit. I wasn't used to it. Just kind of had this weird like slow fast like strange uh, style. I wasn't really um, used to timing, so that's one thing I think I could have improved on.